Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be speaking on PNS guided obturator nerve block. Selective obturator nerve block was first described by Gaston Leban in 1922. Obturator nerve was always a part of three in one block described by Vinnie. And hence it was used in surgical anesthesia of lower limb in combination with lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, femoral nerve and sciatic nerve blocks. In urological surgery, obturator nerve block selectively was given to suppress the obturator reflex during transurethral resection of bladder tumors of the lateral wall, wherein direct stimulation of the obturator nerve by the resector scope as it passes in close proximity to the bladder wall results in sudden violent adductor muscle spasm, which is not abolished by the spinal anesthesia. Evaluation and management of hip pain and spasm of pain required selective obturator nerve blockade. High lithotomy or exaggerated lithotomy positions, such as in cases of vaginal hysterectomies or perineal surgery surgeries, can cause obturator nerve stretching and pain postoperatively, which may need a selective obturator nerve blockade. The landmark. The main landmark is pubic tubercle. With the patient in supine position, the pubic tubercle is identified by palpation and 2 cm lateral and 2 cm caudal to it. At the end of the caudal line is your point of needle entry. The classical landmark approach, the uh, needle goes bang perpendicular to the point of needle entry and the tip of the needle is placed over the top of the obturator foramen where the nerve runs before splitting into the anterior and the posterior branches. You can use the 5 cm stimuplex needle 22 gauge or the 21 gauge 1 and half inch hypobromic needle that comes along with the 20 ml syringe. Go perpendicular to the point of needle entry till you hit the bony contact at around 2 to 4 centimeters and then withdraw and angle it along the anterior pubic wall for a maximum of around 2 centimeters. centimeters lateral and caudal to the pubic tubercle you hit the bone and then angulate it along the anterior pubic wall inject 5 ml of LA solution there come out and little laterally you inject another 5 ml of LA solution a total of 10 ml of 0.5 percent bupivacaine or 0.5 percent ropivacaine for the PNS guided obturator nerve, the evoked motor response is the contraction of thigh adductor muscles. The point of needle entry remains the same, that is 2 cm lateral and caudal to the pubic tubercle. Go bang perpendicular, you get the adductor muscle contractions, slowly reduce the current at around 0.5 milliampers, you get the adductor muscle contractions. On further reduction, at around 0.36, you lose the contractions, which reappear at 0.5 milliampers of current and it is accepted and inject at around 10 ml of the LA solution. If you do not get with the perpendicular needle entry after hitting the bone, you can direct the needle at around 45 degrees lateral to the obturator foramen to get the evoked motor response of adductor muscle contractions. Effectiveness of the block is usually checked by the loss of sensory sensation in the small region located on the posterior medial aspect of the The reduction of adductor strength being the most reliable test which both of which cannot be elicited if the patient is under spinal anesthesia. 
you have to warn the patient in the post-operative period that the ambulation may be impaired and he has to be careful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it's useful for you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.